These days you don't even you can't even trust who you fucking these days niggas wanna hurt you for nothing. These days I don't even care for a title. These days women just get fucked and recycled. That song got stuck in my head. These days oh you gotta get these days you can't even trust to your fucking these days niggas wanna hurt you for nothing these days i don't even care for a title these days women just get fucked and recycled bombo clock one of the really shit me over here watch my mother out there so show up when i come out and start talk to herself one of the really song me ever hear for a long time, trust me. It is for real, for real, for real. It is for real, for real, for real. User 878, blah, 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 blah. You looking nice. I like the gray beard. Mature. That just tell me maturity, wisdom, knowledge understanding responsibility are responsible no not responsibility responsible yeah hey big daddy what's up even though nowadays the young boy them get gray up i don't know if it's the weed where them are smoke and the nsc where them are drink and the casamigo where them are drink and uh, um whatever they're drinking a 35 year old man nowadays look like them about 55 trust me big belly bald head hairline receding gray hair and all of that so age is just a number but the old man them i give the Young boy, them I run for them money. I'm not telling a lie. The old man, them, them belly don't even big like the young boy, them. The old man, them, I see money in them 50 add them. Close to 60. And when they, when they tell me them age, I'm like, you lying. You lying. Okay? You don't look like, you don't even look like you 35. And them close to them 50. But when a young boy nowadays tell us, say, you know what, send me a 35. They're like, 35? I thought you and my dad was like around the same age. Like, for real. No disrespect. Respectfully, you don't look like 35. What's up with that belly? What's up with that belly? What happened to your hairline? Why are you so gray? You stressed out or something? That's how 35-year-old men look nowadays. Trust me. But like a woman like me in my 40s, I get it all the time. They say, you don't even look like you in your 40s. And I'm like, stop. Stop. You look me like when them tell me, say, I don't look me here, you see. <laughs> it make me feel good. And I'm saying, how old are you? I said, guess. And they be like, mm, 30. What? You really, you playing. You playing, right? You playing. Watch my mother. She not even look over here, say no. Because she and my other sister don't get along. So I'm here in Florida. Next week going to be a month since i'm here my sister is running this restaurant and i'm the cook feels so good trust me and everybody's talking about the food the food is good she want me to stay here and i really want to stay here i really because i feel like i can <laughs> i feel like i can make it here but the thing is I don't want to work with my sister for too long you know maybe six months to a year you know i want to help her to get the restaurant off the ground 
because personally me alone cannot do it it's a whole lot of cooking cleaning all of that so and i want to do my own business this i'm passionate about cooking and i really don't want to like build somebody else's dream because this is her dream and her dream and my dream is the same dream but i'm putting in more work than she's putting in so i don't want to build up somebody's dream and put my 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 dream aside you know that's why they always say pour into yourself just like you pour into other people because i always help people out and nobody never never helped me out so i'm in this restaurant my mother just rent a building across it's a plaza so my sister is here and my mother is across one two doors and she about to open a restaurant too and a restaurant is right there so it's gonna be a lot of competition and it's a jamaican restaurant you see right over there sir is it you see that is a bakery and a restaurant that's a bakery and a restaurant but i feel good working in the restaurant for my sister because I did this from home in my house so I don't really interact with people I cook my food I post it in my whatsapp my you know my Instagram and I post it all over social media and you know tag my location and people in my area would like come and order food people from all over UK north carolina canada people always ask me where are located i mean i always tell them i'm located in philadelphia but i do i'm doing this from home so it's feel good to actually doing it from a restaurant but i really want to open my restaurant and i don't want to keep saying it even though you have to talk things in existence and it will manifest but if i keep saying i want to open my restaurant my sister she not go like that even though she knows that that's my dream and that's what i'm passionate about she not go like that because she want me to work for her as long as you know she want me to work for her for now until it pick up where she feel like she can hire a chef and she don't need me i know that i know that's what's going on but i'm playing a fool I'm acting a fool and act like I don't know her intentions, but I'm smarter than her. I'm willing to help, but I'm learning everything because she has her LLC. She got everything licensed and she have everything. So I didn't have that, you know, so, um, yeah, I want to get that part of it, the paperwork part so when i'm gonna open my business i might just work here work here for her and behind her back i'm looking my spot getting everything organized and then when you know when i'm about to have like a grand opening like when i go just tell her say oh tomorrow i'm leaving the girl like say i'm leaving in two weeks you know you know can't do this no more i'm leaving in two weeks and when i left they're gonna be surprised she really have her own restaurant yes bitch what you think i don't want to work for nobody for the rest of my life you know i'm only helping you because you my sister and the thing about it the people them down here they love my food they're like what kind of seasoning you use i like oh the food is so good their reaction towards the food it made me feel so good and um like the other night me and my sister was driving home and we had an argument and i'm telling her i said i'm passionate about whatever i'm doing i'm passionate about cooking and, and she looked at me and said passionate now go make nobody come in at the restaurant that thing hurt me to the core and when i look into it i say you're right Passionate, not gonna make nobody walk in the restaurant, but passionate, gonna make people come again and again and again because the food is so good, they're gonna come. You're right. Me, passionate about cooking and doing this, 
Not going to let nobody walk in the restaurant. But whoever walk in here on their own or find out the spot and come in here and get food, they're going to care. I know I'm not going to own a house right away. But wherever I live, I want it to be very comfortable, very nice. Okay? When I'm going to leave my house and come down here, I live like a papa. I need somewhere very, very nice. And I was looking at houses yesterday. And, uh, like, I see rent for 2400 Four bedroom, two bathroom. Some of them are three bedroom. Three bedroom, two bathroom, nice kitchen, high ceiling, tile floor, big backyard, big front yard, you know, garage and all of that. I love that shit. I love that. And beside that, we can't think, we can't forget about the snow. Like, oh my God, 20 odd years in the snow. We can't forget about the snow. You know, when when September coming off, you worry, say, oh, the time is getting cold. Even though I love that, I'm not going to lie. I like the beginning of the, of the, um, the fall going into winter. And I love the beginning of winter also. Like the first snow. I love the first snow. I love when the first snow come. I mean, you know, you put on your boots, your gloves. Yeah, I like that. But from September to March and snow. Pant up a snow. Men are like that. So. Down here. Living down here. It, it would be a big big changes for me changes is good sometimes trust me and they said the grass is green on the other side i'm definitely telling you the grass them down here so motherfucking green trust me the grass them down here green and i feel like i can flourish down here i feel like i can establish myself down here i feel like what i wanted vida. i can invite you to stay at my house but when it passed two weeks it's time to go I don't want nobody to live with me more than two weeks. Swear to God. And I don't want to live with nobody more than two weeks. So now I'm getting stressed. Getting headache. Because I'm not in my I'm not in my bed. I'm in my little niece bed. And sometimes on night time I foot I hang off. I feel uncomfortable. You know, I can't do what I want to do. As I may say. But I go and talk it out. Cause them say you want good, your nose are for run. My grandmother always tell me you want good, your nose are for run. But at the same time, if me not get what I want, I'm a motherfucking leave. Trust me. I'm a well content of Philadelphia. Well content. I worked 10 years, 10 years, 10 years as a home health aide. When the pandemic come in and they're telling me, oh, you have to take the vaccine. It's mandatory. You have to take the vaccine. As of October 15, if you don't take the vaccine, we're going to put you on leave of absent, blah, 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 blah. And if you don't want to take the vaccine, you have to have this excuse from your pastor for religious reason or health problems why you can't take the vaccine or whatever so i'm like my pastor can't decide for me it's not my pastor choice why i don't want to take the vaccine is my preference and i don't have any medical history that prevent me from not taking the vaccine it's just my preference my job said no we're not gonna accept that they said no we're not accepting that you either have to take the vaccine or you're going to go and leave off absent. I said, no problem. Put me on leave off absent. Because at this point, I'm really tired of the people them. Ten years of cleaning shit and cleaning up people's house as a home health aide. I was tired of it and wanted a break. So I said, okay. Put me on leave off absent. So them say October 15, 2021, you on leave of absent. And I said, okay. I enjoyed the entire month of October that year. November come in and I'm start thinking like, 
well, me have look a change where me can use for take care of my bills then for November, December. I said, okay, we can stay home until January. And then when December come, I said, okay, me go file taxes in a January or February. So me have a have look a change where me can take care of my bills then for the next three more months. So that would be six months worth of bills covered. And then I say, you know, me have to do something. Because if I just rely upon that, that the income there alone, I don't to have no little money. If, you, if I want to do my hair, if I want to go out, if I want to bring my kids them nowhere, some of them have to do something. At the time, everybody did in a Philadelphia cook from them house. Because the pandemic changed everything. The pandemic make a lot of people become entrepreneur. If so much females are sell, waist trainer, they must sell, makeup, they must sell, eyelash, they must sell, hair, they must sell, everything. The pandemic created a lot of entrepreneurs. Some of them still doing it. Some of them never business minded. They just want to jump on the bandwagon and them stop. So I say, I have to find a way to make some money. Knowing me, I love money. I'm not going to do any or anything for money, but I have to find a way to make an income. If I even for sell water to the well, I have to find a way to make an income. And in November, Thanksgiving, my daughter, I wasn't going to do Thanksgiving at my house, you know, because my family, them always do it. And my daughter said, oh, mommy, you're not cooking for Thanksgiving. And I said, no, because when me stand up and cook all day, and me have to turn around and clean up and do everything, only just eat on the gambo to no business or whatever. She said, and I invited some of my friends in for Thanksgiving. And I said, okay, I'll think about it. I wanted to come close to Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving spirit just start kicking at me. And I start saying, okay, I go cook. And I cook a whole lot of food for Thanksgiving. Oxtail, curry goat, turkey, like you know the jamaican food we never incorporate no american food in it more than the macaroni and cheese and i want to tell you i'm not good at it i tried over and over and over and i'm not good at it but i'm not gonna stop until we get it the right way even though the kids them said them they love it but anyway i cook a lot of food and our friends them came over and like two days before thanksgiving i sent out a group chat and invite my family them and some of them did already i have them on thanksgiving with them friend or whatever but the few were come we had a great thanksgiving and everybody was like oh my god the food is so good but my friend my um my daughter friend every time they come over and i cook and I give them some food. Them always I say, oh, the food tastes so good. And them always I tell my dad, I say, why your mom don't open a restaurant? Like your mom food is so good. Why she don't open a restaurant? And me, I love cooking. I love cook. I love offer people my food. Like me season my food with love. Me cook it with love. Me serve it with love. So it's like soul food. When I cook, you're getting soul food. And it just clicking on my brain and say, why not just cook and sell from your house? Because a few people was doing it. So I started doing that. At, me said me I got started in January, but I couldn't wait. I was so excited. Me, I said, this is going to work out. You know, I feel like it's going to work. I'm going to tell my daughter. And she said, yes, it's a good idea, you know. We feel like it's going to work out. I start making poster. I start creating my menu. I come up with my name. And, um, we, you know, created my logo and create my um, Instagram page for the, the kitchen and start posting. And the first Monday, my cook, you know, when we, we make sure I cook down early, we cook down about 12 o'clock because we say we want to catch people who want to buy lunch or whatever. 12 o'clock pass, nobody no message me, nobody no text me, say they want food. One o'clock pass, me start get discouraged. Me I said this not gonna work, cause I'm a yard me I cook from and nobody not gonna want to come buy the food or whatever. And so me love social media. I just turn on my phone and I just start record my food, them and post them and whatever. And one of my friends, I don't know this person, this guy in person. I only know him from Facebook. Follow me for years and always comment. You know, for me, my video them or picture or whatever. And if me depend on live, I'm always come up on the live 
and we talk or whatever. And the person messaged me and say, um, you still cooking today? But I didn't sure it was him because I don't know him now, but I don't know nothing or whatever. And I say, yes. And him asked me what I have and I tell him. And him had a two food. I can't forget. Him had a two food and I get so excited. I say, yes. Mind you, I don't know who had the food, you know. But because me, me put it out there on social media, I put it in a group chat, I tell my family them and all of that, me just excited in other two food. And when the person come and pick up the food, and me, me go outside, him, him sit down in the car, and me go outside and me give him the food. And me said to him, say, what you know about this? And him say, I mean, him, can't even remember his name, because me don't know how Facebook block him. And never me block him, and he come like, he with me. Me never block him. One day, I'm go looking at my blacklist, and me say, he get black. I don't know how he get black. And him say, I'm your friend on Facebook. Who remember his name, no? Casey, Casey, me seem start following me the other day over here on TikTok. Him say, I mean, him Casey, man, I mean your friend. Pa. I say, really? Me say, oh my God, thank you for your support. I will by the time him pick up the food and leave. My uncle, church brother, come and text everybody. Ask me say if me I sell food or whatever. Me say yeah, the day there was a it was a good day and it was a bad day. The man tell me same one jerk chicken, right? But him not have no him live in a senior building. But him say not have nobody to pick it up and him can't come pick it up. So anyway, remember say me just start and it not busy or whatever, you know. And which part him live is like five minutes away from the house. So I say, no problem, we drop it off here. So me, me look for the food, set it up nice car. One thing with me you now. One thing with my food in you know, a presentation, I feel up there. You will look for my food and just want to eat it because it look good. You, the food looks so enticing, it make your belly full right away. So I set up the food nice and uh, by the time like two minutes to reach, which part, which part him live, I call him and said, um, cause him live, um, I think him live up on the 12th floor or whatever, cause of them high rise building there. So may I tell him, say, if he meet me at the door, because, you know, may I drop it off. I mean, no want, you know, somebody else want to order me, them a weird for me or whatever. So him say, yeah, when we get there, me did that wait for the man for come downstairs. The man no come downstairs. I call him again. And him come downstairs. When the man come downstairs, I me hand him the food. Him, him I try to have a conversation like, I so fucking mad. I don't even remember the conversation. The man gave me a buckle, a hand sanitizer. So me take the hand sanitizer you know, and I talk to him and I wait for the man pay me. You with the man I go tell me say. Him never know say I sell me a sell food. Him will pay me a next time. I say when me put my food on the gas and drive away, yes, say man. Him a Christian, you know, but me say me never did go cussing. But driving home and my way home, me say it come like a big. Pat a boy, a hot water, a boil up in a me. Me just take my phone and call him and say, Don't call about my blood clad phone. Me don't want to support from you. Your ear say me a cook food. I give people. I mean, if you did want some food, that's nothing. I love to give people food, but me, me, I tell you a long time, say me a cook food and sell. And you make me cook the food, drive and come give you the food. And you're going to come ask and say, You think, say, you never know, say, I sell me, I sell the food. You think, say, I give me, I give you food. I said the thing so hurt me. I block him out of my phone. Block him. And by the time I go home, by the time I reach home again, the day them only get like, come here, come to see him and I call my daughter and I say, one person had a two food and me about to drop off a next one now and re, 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 re. I sell about four food a day, day. And then, get so excited, start doing it every day, posting, like, I love Fridays because I call Fridays festive Friday where I do my Escovich fish, my bami, my festival, my like fried chicken, my wings and everything. And one thing, me no filter my picture them. My picture them when me post with my food, all me need is a good sunlight. 
Cause the lighting in my kitchen not so bright. Got the shade, I guess from the grease and it did it all long. It not so bright. So what I would do, I would just put the food in the box, fix it up nice. You know, me have a op a enclosed porch, but with like five windows all around. So when the sunlight I hit through that, I set it up nice and bring it out there and put it on the radiator and video and take my picture of them and post them. I'ma start do that and me see people start inbox me and ask me which part my located and all of that. And people start support me and the people them when me know, like the Jamaica dancehall community people them when we usually party with, you know, a few of them start support me and all of that. And uh, everybody know when they start support me, them start say, when they come and then pay me like me sell a fish for $25, they're like, oh, you must have make all the... Just because they see the picture of them and the video of them on Instagram, let me tell you, so people want to see you do good, but not better than them. Every time this dude come buy food from him, always I say, oh, Lord, your food look good and your food tastes good. Man, I tell, no lie. Me, I tell everybody you always spill about your food. Me, I tell everybody you dab about your food. Oh, you must have make all the money. They might worry about me, I make all the money. And some days, I cook food, I'm going to get no seal. No seal. And mind you, I'm a house, me I do it from. So me can't cook rice and peas today. That was my mentality. Me can't cook rice and peas today and put back rice and peas on the menu tomorrow. Because I'm going to put it on the menu in a my mind. That's just my mind. Maybe people wouldn't mind and not think so much into it, but that's just me. In my mind, me as a people are going to say, I steal food. So that's why I have my menu set out from, I don't cook, I start cook on Monday. And I start cook Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I have my menu set out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Different things every day. So nobody can say me I give them steal food. Come on, you. I'm a host me I do it from, you know. I'm a host me I do it from. Me is a clean person overall. Trust me. Clean heart, clean hands, clean mind, clean everything. So it was not a problem for me. Because me start video my kitchen and video my stove and video the food panic. Because... Some people are going to see which part of them food I prepare. You know what I mean? So I did that to let people feel comfortable so they can support me. And may I tell us, say, you have some people every time them come buy food from me, you know. And at the same Philadelphia dance hall people, them Jamaican people, them, them are the same one We feel like they must start making a bag of money so they stop support me. Because every time them come, them compliment me upon the food. Yes, because them they have no doubt. Because the food is very presentable and it's delicious. Very enticing. But enough for them mind. Enough for them mind. Me I make a lot of money. Some days, my cook food not sell off. Thank God me have a pit bull dog. Me feed, me rather feed the dog with it. And after a period of time, I start to say, oh my God, all of this good food I waste. I don't want the food for waste. Trust me, I don't really want the food for waste because sometimes I wish if I even one person could I get a plate of food. I'm tell myself, say, I'm going to go start go up at Kensington, which where they have the homeless people them and the crackhead them on the corner. I'm say, I'm going to start go up there because I buy the box, then I can't get box of dollar tree with 30 in the pack. And a dollar twenty five me a pay for. So me now lose. That's why God has got bless me ten times ten. I don't worry about that shit. Is what me I say? I'm say me I go start bring food up there and give them. And shortly after that, me I sell food and me start the local delivery. My car got broke down. My car broke down. And my son have a car. So I said to myself, say, you know, say, I'm going to go and hold off. I'm going to rush to buy no car. I'm going to go and use my son's car, do my shopping, and just make the people let me know say, I pick up only. I'm going to ask me how to do it for me. I have the time for deliver. Because if I deliver and somebody else wants food, oh, it's going to work. So I'm going to say, okay, we're not in a no rush for buying no car. But if I had the car at the time, I would definitely, 
definitely drive go back Kensington and give them people them food there. Because you see, at the end of the day, you don't know who you're going to give food in the crowd. Somebody would have Indian and say, oh, this Jamaican girl, her food is so good. And somebody would have probably want me to do a little catering for them. Because in Amoba, I'm going to put catering too. So you have to think big and think outside the box and, and just speak things in existence and things will manifest. So I'm here helping my sister with the intention of opening my own restaurant. I don't want to do it in my house forever. Wish is not a problem because I can't save my money anyway. Instead of me go find a spot where I rent a restaurant, I may have to pay the rent for the restaurant and all of the overhead expenses and everything where it come with. Could I still do it from my house? Because I have my customer. And it's growing. You see me? I say it's growing. It grows until sometimes I say, oh my God, me tired of my own cooking. All the people in my say the food tastes good and sometimes me cook the food and me feel fuck. I'm here cooking. You know? I'm never turning on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> the cold food here. I'm just going to talk about the cold food here. You know? Can we cook the cold food here today? Mm -hmm. I taste it over, 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 and then I really have the flavor I really wanted for flavor or for taste. Thank God, I didn't turn on the stove. I never remember how I turned on the stove. I'm thinking, I'm going to up. And the toughest cold food this. I'm going to come here from 9 o'clock. And the cold food is on the app to 4. Cold food is on the fire from then time, then I just don't cook. I just don't cook. I my mother passed us about two times. But she and my sister now agree, so she now go over. Because she can't come in and say, I can't go there. Why is she in there? <laughs> Yo! If the cold put the... Jesus! Ow! This is the other come here and fix. Like. <sighs> it's not even one month now since the star cook here. And. Uh, this is the energy now, right? Yeah, man. She just want. Money, 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 money. So much day, my day, my yard, and I sell no food. And if I even want food, she sell. And if somebody say. How the business? Slow, not now gone. People not like me. People not want to me. Like, me tell her, like, me, like, me don't like them energy day. Is what me I say? Cause, you see when you, you see when you, people have you as a certain way, them see you as a type, a type of person. In a fit them mind, them see you as a certain type of person. Even when you change, they don't see changes in you. And if you've been around them too long, you might revert back in the person that, that you was. And then I'm going to say, see there, she didn't say she changed. I mean, no, I said she not changed. Me no. But then I know I say, at them, she got certain shit in her, you make you go back to your old ways. Like, all of my family, them always feel say me, I want Taliban. And me, me love argue and me love fight and, and all of that. I've been fighting all my motherfucking life, but I'm too old for that now. I'm too old. I stay away from negativity. That's why I don't have any friends. I don't be around my family unless it's a function or they invite me somewhere and I feel like going or whatever. I don't even let my kids be around my family unless they invite them somewhere or whatever. But that no means to me eat my family. So with that said, me just they don't see the changes in me. I mean I tell them say like me no need no form of negativity. In a my circle, in a my space. Me can't get up every day and I say, oh, people are fight against me. People not like me. People this, people that like you. When you speak that so much, you speak it out in the universe and it can manifest. Sometimes your mind play so much on you like you t your mind. You tell yourself, say, so all of that is just in your mind. 
all of that in your mind. And I'm going to use something for example. When me just buy my house at Philadelphia. All right. Let me go back. The house where I live in at Philadelphia, I used to rent it. Right? Before I buy it, I used to rent it. And me and the neighbors, them were such a good friends. Every time me cook, them always like, like my food, them smell the food, them all. Because I tell you, I love to cook. I'm a love give people food. And I just know that's in me from my dad, Jamaica. When me dad see you, and me I go a shop to buy food for cook, me usually hide the plastic bag. So the boy, them panic and the sister, me I go a shop because if them see me pass, I go a shop with a plastic bag, them I say, Mama, where you cook today? Mama left soccer, then call me Mama. When me there see you, then call me Mama. Them say, Mama, where you cook today? Mama left some for me now. Mama, me want in the boat there, whatever, whatever. And sometimes they all they sit down, smoke them weed, and then do what they, and they no even say, Mama, see ten dollar ya, put pan where you put pan and cook some food so me can get. So me usually cook from Jamaica and I just know me I cook. So when me live in Philadelphia, me I rent the house there, then people, they, they're American. And they're always like, oh, my dad, like, used to go to this Jamaican restaurant and he likes curry chicken and he like this, that, that. So every time I cook and them smell, them would always ask me for some food. Or sometimes I just even give them without them even ask me. So me and them are good friends. It end up that the people, them, the owner for the house, decide to say, I'm going to sell the house. It's a big old house. Because even when me I rent it, me I tell them, say, me I try to negotiate the price because the house want to fix up and the house want to fix up. But I love the house. If I'm moving at it, me I say the house, they have potential in it. If them just fix it up the right way or whatever. So the owner decide for sell the house. So me rent it through a real estate. Let's see my sister here come. So me rent it through a real estate person. And one day I come from work and I see them have a big brown envelope on the door. Big brown envelope on the door. Say, um, to the current, current, um, resident of this address or whatever. Current, whatever. But yeah. So me take up the, take up the, um, the envelope now and me open it and it has said the house, they pan sheriff seal and all of that. So me call the real, coming out even in the house here a year, you know. So me call a real estate person and we said, uh, what's going on? Cause me, me not, me not late for my rent. I said, what's going on? Like I came home from work. I found this in the mail, like the house is on sheriff sale. So I, I guess that mean I'm going to have to find somewhere to go. He like, no, um, the, the owner is going to sell the house and we didn't get the chance to let you know or whatever. So I'm like, okay. Um, well, I'm interested. So you're like, oh, if you're interested, you're going to have to buy it as is because it's not going to put my work in it. So I said, no problem. Yeah, I can run my credit and let me know or whatever. So them do all of that and they end up that may get it. You see from them nearby, they find out. Jesus Christ. The people that hate me with a passion. The wife I know. You know. I know you say they know. I'm going to turn off the box and turn it on and turn it off and turn it on. The people, them hate me with a passion. The people, them, me say, the daughter next. Huh? The daughter spent seven years in a jail. I didn't know the daughter when I first moved there, but the mother usually tell me about, tell, cause I two sisters, them, you know, and me and one of them used to move so good. She, me and her at the same age, she have five kids, me and four kids and, you know, whatever. And when the daughter come out of jail, the mother tell the daughter so much things about me, they, they just start fighting me when they realize, say, I'm going buy the house. And... So much things start to happen to me. Me start feel like say I don't know about them, but I'm a mind, my mind, and me start looking to it and I say, yo, me can't make them people that take over my mind, you know, because if them take over my mind, it a go break down my body completely. Because if me see one, one, listen, me live in a hooded era where raccoon, fox, snake, and whatever run about. So one morning, me come out and me see a snake. And in my mind, me I say, are the people them? I said, snake for me. And when me start tell myself, say, I'm not going to think like that. Me not going to think no negativity because no weapon farm against me shall prosper. 
it take me a while before me starting positive positive thoughts positive energy and so till finally that was my mood or that is my mood forever Forever. Me not, me not go around the negativity. I'm a can bother with the negativity and all of that. So, would she own this? And every day she get up and I say, oh, the people not like her and they might fight against her and not now go on. Instead of when she sell one food a day and she say, thank God me sell her food. She gonna say, not now go on. And not true people are fight me. And not true people not want to see me have nothing on this and that. And I want their own that they kind of energy there. Swear to God, me not want their own the energy there. <clears throat> you see me, I say? Go watch her. Watch her. She let me off every morning, right there, so. I'm going to put in 110% work like it's my place. But tell myself, say, this could be mine. I'm going to have no help. I'm going to do it by myself because I never get help from nobody. No family, no, no friend, nobody. Even yesterday, me hear her up on the phone with one of her friends, and she had to tell her, talk to her friend. And because I sit, sit down next to her, I kind of hear the conversation, and the friend had to tell her, say, oh, you have to appreciate your sister because and a whole heap of family would have do that. Left for them place and come here and I put in the work. Is it me? I say, I soon, next week or one month, I day so work without a dime. And I still have my bills them for pay. I still have my bills them for pay. My home depot bill due the fifth of every month. Is it me? I say, the capital one bill due the fifteenth of every month. My mortgage due the first, and you have what ten days or uh, five days. The late payment. If after, after that you pay the late payment, so my mortgage due the first, but you have the the um what's it ten day grace period. Is it me? I say my cable. My Verizon bill due the fifteenth of every month. Me have my insurance, my life insurance, two life insurance. Me have me have one for myself. Me have a life insurance for my papa, my daughter. One of my life insurance due the tenth of every month. The other one due, I think, the twenty ninth of every month. Okay, me have light bill. I don't even remember when them the bill they do. Come I and mean, I think about them the day. Them the bill they never go away. So I'm mean, not to put them the date they pan practice. Because some month we will pay it this month. And next month we probably not pay it. And the other month we will pay it two bill in a one. The light bill, the gas bill, and the water bill. I'm mean, not put them pan practice. Because them the bill they are going to never go away. Them bill they are going to do forever. My credit card bill, me I try to pay it off. I mean, I want to lay it on it because I want to keep my credit score at a certain level. So that's the one of my main focus. My, my home depot bill is a credit card bill too. I mean, I want to lay it on that. So I have to remember the date there. My mortgage, at nine years, I own the house there. Nine years, I own my house. I make me knock on wood. And put on my hand to God and thank your Father God for continuing to provide for me. And I ask you to continue. Continue provide for me. Father God, please may I ask you. Don't leave me by the wayside. Nine years I own my house and I only laid it upon my mortgage two times. And the two times I laid upon my mortgage, it wasn't my fault. I laid upon my mortgage this year because I mailed it out and they didn't get it. Because you know in Philadelphia, the boy them don't start going at the mailbox, them no one take out the mail them and take out the check them when they them finding a mail or whatever. And I think that's what happened with the one day. And uh, the next one was the first the first one was I think around 2020. I think it was around 2020. And it opened my eyes too. Because me late that month, I don't remember what happened why I did late the Monday. But me late that month, I'm never get for pay the rent that month day, the mortgage the month day. But me constantly pay every month and left that one month day. And three months after, even though I one month rent my home, mortgage my home, I keep saying rent. Even though I one month mortgage my home, I see the mortgage company send me a letter for foreclosure. I mean, I say, all right. So we in a, we in a July now. 
All right, so I never pay the July bill. August come, me pay August same way, me pay September same. Me did pay all of them bills. De, me did pay every month same way. And I said, when me get the, get the money, me just go pay the one day and pay two months in a one. Three months pass, I'm going to continue to pay every month same way. And I pay the one month that I never pay. I'm going to say the mortgage company send me a letter say foreclosure. Me I say, Food closure, I'm in the even late. Me late for the one day, I no pay the one month day. Say me have one month in the back where me no pay. But who the host are going to food closure? No wonder, no wonder people always are say, oh, you never own a house in a foreign. You, you buy a house, but you, you pay for it until you're dead. And if you don't pay for it, the bank will come take it from you. That's fucking true. That is true. And, uh, it so happened because my brother the co signed for me, so at the tour we named the panda the mortgage, him get a letter too. And my brother come my brother call me, but him never want come in on my business because him not responsible for my house. Him only co signed for me. He never put a dollar in it or anything. Him just co signed for me because at the time my credit score was low. So him only co signed for me. So him get a letter. Mind you, it's going to come like a family and him house because the tour with me and the, 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 the mortgage. So him get a letter too when the house going on for closure. So him call me and him say, you good? From him say, so I know why I come with you now. He just, me just get angry. I say, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, oh, I get a letter from the bank, you know. I say, um, house are going on for closure and it's going to affect my credit and I say, well, I don't know what to do, you know, because I don't have the, mon the money. I don't know what to do. Because I don't have it, I try to, to um, you know, get the money for pay two months now or whatever. I say, I'm going to lend you the money. And you give me it back. How oh, oh, soon you think you can give me back? And I think I did have some money to get to, you know. And I tell him, like, say, give me two months and I give you back the money. Or whatever. And he say, yes. But me did already... Me did already the, when me get the, the meal about the um the food closure. Me did already call the mortgage company and I set up sitting for them um for a modify loan. Yeah, modify loan. So what them did go do is drop the the mortgage payment, but some other interests are, are some some did go. You know, it never did suitable for me anyway. But at the time, I didn't think some would have to take it that way because I never want the house going for closure. So we just cancel all of them, they pay it. And I'm telling you, trust me, nine years, nine years, two times I ever laid for my mortgage. Thank God. And from I come in at this country and I rent people place. No landlord can't tell Sam is a bad tenant. No, like all when them a fucking slumlord, them cannot say I'm a bad tenant. Me pay on time. Me clean up them place like I'm my own. Me take care of them place like I'm my own. Like, we didn't rent a place from a Jamaican man, Mr. Spencer. All him was a pussy wall too because when me I buy the house, them did want to get in contact with her. My landlord them to find out how me rent, how me pay rent, and if me was a good tenant and whatever, and the mortgage company then call him over and over and over and over. But you did have a disagreement when me a move out. He never want to answer them. Never want to answer them. No, no landlord. Him, him rent me a place, man. Him left from New York and come a Philly. Him rent me a place. Door bust down. Window bust down. No doorbell. No address number, nothing. What is? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But tell her, no, like, no address number. You know, like, you say you live at 7891 Wilmot Street or whatever, no number. No doorbell. 
when winter time come, a plastic bag you have to put up at the window them. Plastic bag you have to put up at the door them because the, the crack them. They're not sealed. And me work on all of that. Work on all of that. Fix it up. We say one day when the man, because he's a gambler, you know. As Mr. Spencer get him money, so he's going to Atlantic City. As Mr. Spencer pick up a rent, he's going to Atlantic City. One day, man, come, they come pick up him rent. And me, I show him some stuff I want to fix. And he come inside and he look on the house and he said, Well done, well done. You're making this place livable. I mean, my man, I say, should I live up before me come in here come here pay my rent? Should I live up? <laughs> so, and the same thing did happen with me and Mr. Spencer. And he bring me go to court because me to get a letter said the house of go up and share sale. So my uncle tell me, said, don't pay him the rent. Just put in our escrow account. So we went to the bank and we opened an escrow account and we put the money in it. So true him now and get the money if you go, if you go gamble. No, no. Get mad. Get mad and care me go to court. When he care me go to court, the attorney and the judge and the whole of them are friends. If you hear all the, all the judge all talk to me, I tell me about if me have problem with the property, why did I still live there? I'm supposed to find somewhere to go. I say, okay. Me appeal it. I say, yeah. The attorney and the judge are friends. When me, when me outline to the judge and I tell the judge I'm all the problem where happened to the house, why we never did I give him the rent and I put the money in I ask escrow. The, the judge look for me and tell me, say, if me have all of them problem there with the house, why me not move out? Why me did still live there? You not nah, take that, that does, that not nah, take the excuse there. And him, and him, 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 him grant the money, money, but the money was already in the, in the escrow account. So me say, okay, never appeal it. So me appeal it and me get one legal aid attorney like the woman that worked for me. The woman worked for me and I get back every cent. So then give me like the um October, the 1st of October for move out. Two months then give me for move out. So me did owe five months rent, but the five months rent was in a in a in a escrow. So after me win the case and me appeal it, the judge tell me say. Tell him, say, if he, if he give me three months rent, because if you know, say, if you have a move in no way, you have to have first, last, and a security deposit. So the judge tell him, say, if he give me three months rent plus one month before I move out. So I didn't get one place and I go move out the man, you know, the first of October. So when me left that the property, property they have to go, which part me I go move in because the gas company did come for turn on the gas. When me there that property there, my friend called me, tell me, say, the be the sheriff them put on lock on the door with all of my furniture, all of my clothes them in another place. Mr. Spencer. Make them come lock down the place for me. Jesus guys. Them time day, I wasn't so calm and collected. I drive go around the AC man. And we have one local and the boy with our team outside of cussing, dog, rotten. <laughs> and every Jamaican day, you know, straight, you know, that's some of mentality. Me feel said the boy, you straight, you know, when I do call police. Come here, say, could not straight, I work for, for Spencer. I don't look how he work here and there. I call police for him, man. And when the police them come, the police call him. Call Mr. Spencer and tell Mr. Spencer if he give me some time to take out the stuff them. Because me already have my place, I go move out. The day now even done. Or you care the sheriff them to come put on lock one door just because me win the case. As a man say, you know, don't get the fucking money for go to Atlantic City if you go gamble. You want to be bitter. So, yeah, I get my stuff them and I move out. So when time me I get this a place and now and the mortgage people them are calling to find out if me a good tenant or whatever. Him give them a hard time. He never want answer, never they want answer. So till him call me one day and I tell me say, me owe him an apology before him talk to the people them. I said, I don't owe you no apology. He said, okay, if you don't apologize, I don't have nothing to say to them. I said, but you don't have the right to because I wasn't a bad tenant. I don't owe you an apology, 
So why you don't talk to the people if someone get this process done and over with? And they did it so till they call him, call him, call him. So Tim just but me not apologize to him, I just talk to him nice. I'm gonna say, okay, Mr. Spencer, you know, says a misunderstanding. Like, nobody's perfect. I'm not gonna say you was wrong. I know I wasn't wrong, but the two are we, we just see things different and whatever, blah, 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 blah. And he, and he talk, I talk to Mr. Till, he talk to them and everything go through. So, I'm, 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 that, that, I'm that type of person. I'm very calm and collected right now, me not so angry and boisterous like we used to be or whatever come here this sick head is it we had a hot head when i say hot head every fucking thing chicken me off you see i went over court and court done and me and him in the elevator i cuss him dog rotten i tell him same bread smell like he's stepping a shit <laughs> can a man more than think I say, your bread smell like you're stepping a shit. I say, me, I give you the rent money. And before you take your rent money, go to a dentist. I go buy a toothpaste for brush your thinking mode. Yo, you know, every time me and him go to court, me, me get off on the man. Because me, I say, yo, the man here is a wicked motherfucker. Holy oh, proper proper team off. Holy, oh, but him is a slumlord. Mr. Spencer, him is a slumlord. And then, on top of that, him born the, the, um, the 4th of June, and him knows that I'm born June. Him know, we are two strong-headed persons. That's why we're not going to get along. We are Geminis. I say you are the only Gemini man I get along with. I don't really know no only a Gemini woman, but every Gemini man when me know, me and them get along. You just bitter. You see me? You just bitter. So, yeah, things and time change people and situation too. Things, time, and situation change people. Anyway, this, this TikTok thing keeps telling me poor internet service. But I know me, I pay for 5G, and if we're not on Wi Fi, my phone now. The um can it go? You see all the people stay up you see all the stay over here on TikTok. If me not beg on the top of the screen, on the door top of the screen. You see all I'm gonna on the live, I'm gonna don't even get one like on the generous. If me not beg on the top screen, on the top of the screen. Hmm? No, no can tap the screen for the entertainment. I'm not beg no tops and roses, you know. I'm not beg no tops and roses. All we are doing beg on the top of the screen. I only don't tap the screen. I would do some lessons for you. I see my the rest of man call me. Say my comfy Aki and selfish. My man, I come by Aki and selfish too. He said, I'm coming come here the other day. He said, Cousin. I wonder if I. Um, you know, Chico, Chico. I wonder if I Chico family because when he come in here last week. He come and him say him cousin. Then you chico chico. I wonder if a chico family because when he come in here last week, he come and him say him cousin. Tell him say ask if a chico family or what. See her vehicle. I'm saying look like she gone. 